Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do my first uh, daytime stream of uh, Alien Isolation. Uh, I know that's kind of a wuss move, but if this game is really as long as it uh, claims to be, then in order to get this stream done in any kind of time or manner, I'm going to need to start playing at more variable hours of the day than just night. Uh, there's not enough time to do that, and also, yeah, it's scarier at night, so <laughs> I can do that, but it's going to be exhausting, so it's going to take more sittings. So I was thinking maybe um, do a little of each, um, still do some night streams, but also do some day ones. I, I feel like this game is tense enough that daylight will make a whole lot of difference. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Without further ado, I'm going to get going. Hopefully, um, I don't know, hopefully maybe it is a little less uh, less intense. I'm actually going to turn off the, the light in my room, though. That should at least give it the illusion of somewhat darkness, kind of. Yeah. yeah, that's good. It's like, you know, shades are drawn. That counts, right? Okay. Alright, I say we start this off with a little bit of crafting. So, I wonder if we're going to run into the alien at any point in this. What's up, bro? Eerie. I think this game's still gonna be pretty tense in moderate daylight. Doctor. Hello? I, I need it. I can't hear you. Hang on. Come on, I've opened the elevator for you. Wait, I have to collect things. <laughs> Come, there's no time to lose. All right. How do I know I can trust you? Forget the door. The marshals have locked everything 
down. Use the vent. I wonder when I'm gonna get this uh, ion torch because once I have it, I do a lot more exploration. It seems like. Psychiatric ward, eh? I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. There are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help, and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. Hmm. I feel like in one of the gameplay videos I watched in this game, this is the part that I saw. So, I do believe I know what might be coming up here in a minute. Which, if I remember correctly, is one of the first encounters with the alien. So, great. Alright, hang on one second, guys. I'm just gonna alt-tab. Sorry about the delay. Right. Come on. Let's work together, huh? Mutual benefit. Alright, before we do that, ah, oh, you locked me. I was gonna go through that other vent. Cases. Don't worry, they're all long gone. 
He's like, I'm just here to freak you out. <laughs> no, no, wrong way. found the passcode. Look, we'll need the physical key card too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just trying to find out what detected. that is. You focus on finding that key card.
Okay. So that doesn't really work with the alien. <laughs> Holy crap. Today and found I was locked out. I can't possibly be expected to carry out my duties if you and Lingard cut my access privileges. I have patients who will relax without that medication, particularly when things on the station are so precarious. I will not see patient care suffer. Consider this a formal warning. And for the record, I do not have a problem. I'm wondering. Hmm. All right. Well, we can do a couple things before the alien appears. Now that we know he's going to. Call it cheating, but this game is not really doing us any favors, so I don't feel too bad. Plus, I didn't do proper exploring before, so. Oh, that's what they play to the... Creepy. That's some good world building. I like that. Um, oh, here's a map update. Perfect. That's helpful. This is interesting. fun. Hmm. Where does this go? Sorry guys, I'm going to do some pre-exploring since I'm nervous about the alien. He's quite scary. I wonder if 
it's going to get any easier to avoid him. So it looks like we're... How do you change force? So it looks like our ways out are here. Which is... cheat right now, but uh, there's not a whole lot of time to learn this once the alien appears, so I think this is kind of what you're supposed to do. This fence for us and one of his offers. Why are my lights? Oh, there we go, finally. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, I just realized by doing that rewire I locked myself out of the save room. Unlock this door. And this is bullcrap. Let's go do our rewire. I don't know what happened there. This system is a little weird to figure out. I like the idea of it. I think it's smart, but it doesn't seem to work the way it seems like it should. Alright, everything's off in here. In there. So why? Hmm. Not really sure. Is that door though? Why don't I have access? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, guys. Let's give it a shot. Wait, where does this go? Oh, maybe. No. 
Alright, let's try to figure this out. I'm tired of getting ripped out of hiding places. Maybe I shouldn't use those. You're there. That's Corley's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. Even though I don't think he can get in here. This is still really eerie.
Huh, this looks like the Balls, guys. Um, does anyone remember what it was? Was it A29? Is there a way to check? No. Oh god. And there's no saves. Huh, holy cow. So it's a little hidey hole.
Okay, we found it. I really don't want to get cornered. <gasps> Save points are like such a haven in this game. <laughs> it reminds me of like Resident Evil in that regard. I'm feeling a little more confident. Where does this go? I've seen it before. Sorry I keep checking the map guys, but this game is brutal, so I gotta play smart. Okay, looks like it's just straight through here. Is there anything worth getting in here? Um, 
doesn't go anywhere, right? Okay. No. It's this way. person. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Let me see real quick what's in this assessment room because I haven't uh, explored that. And I think I think we're safe now. I think. I'll keep checking but I don't think he's gonna come in here. Much of my stuff is maxed. Pipe bomb. Can't do that. Mm, flashbang? Yeah. I don't need more med kits. Noise makers. No. That's like the useful one. I don't know what the rest of these really do. EMP mine? Was it just him moving? I'm not actually sure. Regardless, let's go use this. But otherwise, I think we did it, guys. I only got killed once. I'm pretty good at this game. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. You're gonna get killed, aren't you? Yep. I was just using the mustard tracker to check. So wait, how do I get into his office and get his stuff? Oh, I probably had to like switch that door with the rewire. <laughs> Not going back for that garbage.
find a trauma kit. I'm wondering if this is going to be... Oh, oh. I... Well, I just got a save point, so... It's not scary yet. I, the save system is a big part of what makes this game scary. I mean, they could have done checkpoints, but the save system seems more fair and strategic, because if they're going to do checkpoints, they would have needed to still space them out pretty good, and it, if they had just been at, like, random times, it would have pissed people off. This is cool. I'm definitely going to be missing some stuff going through this game, but it's a little too frightening to worry about that so much. Stun baton. Hmm. Can't tell if he's actually here. Sometimes I feel like the motion tracker is just there to screw with you. So where's the other uh, coolant? <laughs> but see, I like that because it means the game gets more tense the further from a save point you get. And it encourages exploration because finding the save points is like of strategic importance. I think that's a pretty smart way. I think that's a pretty smart way to handle it. Yeah, geez. There we go. We'll just put that in our pockets. I wish it was like amnesia where we just hold it out <laughs> like in front of us. We're walking around. Is the ethanol like just like Jack Daniels or like Jim Beam? <laughs> Perfect. All right. There's a rewire. Is that what I was trying to get access to? Seems like it. Let's see what I can do with this. Hmm. Okay, there's no extra rooms. So it's just turn off the air purification. Ah. There's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. 
Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Clever. See, now we don't have to worry as bad. But it definitely does use the motion tracker to like screw with you at times, so you just never feel safe. I kind of like that. Kind of blurs the lines between what an encounter and like a non encounter area are. I think that's pretty cool. If they ever introduce like a threat in the vents, I'm gonna hate it. If they really wanted to subvert your feeling of being safe, they would do that. That would be probably one of the scariest things they could do. I don't know if it would be a white wise design choice because your players would start to mistrust <laughs> the vents completely. But, I mean, if you really want to make them feel like there's no safety, and that is an option. Okay, I really need a map update. Yup, that just happened. Guys, we're really good at stealth. Our stealth skill is like 100. Like, it's real good. Oh god, I hate that inventory maxed crap. I just want to collect all the items and go. Balls. I don't think I'm going to take the time to read all this. Okay, what does this do? Cutscene? This Yay. is Vanguard. The senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. You should turn it down. I want to. You should turn it down. I want to stay for the record. I have, been, I have been placed under duress with regards to the compromise patient zero. And Ransom, Seekson's head of operations, he, he made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God, God. that woman needed help. That's hell. creepy distortion. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Boy. Okay. I got a map though. Oh gosh. Operating theater. How do I even get over there? Going, guys. Oh! Fuck. Oh! Okay, you probably. I know it scared you, but you probably should not scream like that. Yeah, I figured you'd come check it out, you little bastard. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think uh, I'm going to pause it, and uh, I'm going to call the stream here, and 
and we'll be back soon, okay? I know, suspenseful moment, right? I gotta do something though. All right.